he's not here. Is he out investigating something? Or maybe he went to make some mysterious drawings. Oh, it's you. Oh, if it isn't Sucrose, what are you doing here? I'm in the final stage of my research. I have five hours and 26 minutes of leisure time today. So, I came here looking for you to inquire about previously discussed matters. You tell time very accurately. Are you a human clock? No, no. It's nothing worth your praise. You're too kind. That wasn't a compliment. C can I ask you a question, Traveler? I made a request regarding investigating Mr. Albedo's secret. Have you made any progress? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's been over a week since we talked about it. What? Uh, over a week? I clearly... <sighs> I've been so absorbed in my research, that matter of ours had completely slipped my mind. How can your sense of time be so strong and so weak at the same time? So... Do you know what it is? That's great! Could you tell me? Um... Telling her shouldn't really matter. She can take a look too. Just no touching! Wait... What are you talking about? What's this? It's a super powerful sword! Don't touch it with your bare hands! Uh... This is... <gasps> this is... I've never seen... <laughs> Look all you want. Not sure why, but even Paimon feels a strange sense of achievement. Astounding! It's the first time I've heard of such a mysterious weapon. I can faintly feel the power coursing through the sword. It's like a living creature. Is it such a distinct feeling? This may be due to my alchemist training. I don't dare to say anything for sure. But the flow of power is very noticeable. Although this description isn't the most precise. N normally I wouldn't define things like that. Please, believe me. I don't usually use such ambiguous terms. Okay, okay. We got it. Uh, traveler, could you use this sword in battle? I'd like to learn more about it. But I'm unable to use it myself. I can only ask for your assistance. Let's look around for the right spot! Time to lose. Remarkable. This weapon is like no other. You're also extraordinary. No matter if it's your fighting stance or the momentum of your swing, it's perfect. This sword is special. I didn't want to go too deep into the research, and yet I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Well, Paimon thinks that's one of your own special qualities, not the swords. Clearly this is a mysterious yet dangerous and enticing sword. Mr. Albedo must have great confidence in you to have entrusted you with such an important item. Well, you've earned his trust with your abilities. I agree with Paimon. However, the sword hadn't absorbed much energy before it was handed to you. Huh. How did Mr. Albedo recognize its uniqueness among a pile of other items in storage? A flash of brilliance often doesn't make sense. For example, Paimon's appetite for sticky honey roast. Ah, <sighs> which reminds me. I didn't eat much today. I went looking for you right after completing my experiment. Then, on the way... I ran into an adventurer trapped in the snow. I spent quite some time saving him. Uh, uh, it, no, it's not like that. Don't be so shy. Just say what's on your mind. Uh, um, um... Let Paimon 
can help you out. Paimon's hungry. We should grab something to eat. I'm... I'm hungry. I could really go for a... Oh. Uh, I'm just a little embarrassed. Nothing to be ashamed of. Admitting that you're hungry makes the food taste better. Huh? Is that so? Of course! Let's get moving. There must be some food back at the camp. It'd be lovely to have some sticky honey roast to keep us warm in this icy weather. from Mondstadt? Did he come here with Cyrus to explore the snowy mountain too? I'm... F f freezing. <laughs> Have you been here since I rescued you from the snow pit? I wanted to leave, but I, I got lost. I I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's so c cold that I can't move. <laughs> Mr. Pallet... A trip to this mountain requires solid preparation. You shouldn't have treated it so lightly. I'd appreciate the assistance. I'm afraid that, in his current state, he won't be able to walk on his own. Even if we can't, we won't just leave him here, right? You're right. My apologies, Traveler. I'm sure he feels bad about the situation. He's the least of your concerns right now. You should be worried about yourself. You must have already figured out why we're here. We won't let you go unless you give us that sword. No! Please don't give them the sword! That's the spirit! Let's knock him down! Mr. Pallet, I'll take you to a safe place, quickly! So naive. We won't let any witness escape. This sword will make a fine gift for Her Excellency, Harbinger Senora! No time to lose. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Damn it. Spirit Blade. Attack! Force my blade. Not breaking a sweat. and came over to check. So it was you who made all this noise. What happened? Did you get into a fight? M Mr. Albedo, I didn't mean to. Aren't you supposed to be organizing documents? Why did you come here all of a sudden? And you got into a fight with such a dangerous opponent in this terrain. Well, now even Paimon feels guilty. Uh, uh, I only... I'm sorry. I was just passing by. Huh. I reckon you've been led astray by yet another thing that attracted your attention. You told her everything? We just told her about 
the sword's properties and origin. We didn't let her touch it. We know better than that. <sighs> Never mind. We couldn't have kept her in the dark for too long anyway. Sucrose is naturally drawn to obscure knowledge and mystery. She is great alchemist material indeed. Uh, uh, I promise I won't be causing trouble anymore. I swear on the quadruple size sweet flower seed I just propagated. It's not trouble that worries me. I'm only concerned with your safety. You must be more careful next time. <sighs> anyway, what's going on with that adventurer crouching over there? I took it upon myself to protect Mr. Pallet during the battle. He should be all right. I'm... I'm freezing. He must have caught a cold during the fight. Uh, I didn't consider that possibility. It's my oversight. My apologies. Mr. Albedo, I'll check on him. Sure. Sucrose may seem a bit rigid, but she's a good kid with a heart of gold. Can't disagree. That girl. Let her out of your sight, and she winds up in the strangest places. True. Don't worry, I'm not angry. Huh. There seems to be a shiny thingy on the sword. Huh. <sighs> Another change. The sword's power is much stronger than before. How did that happen? There were some ferocious characters among those Fatui soldiers. We've never seen them before. So it's the energy it's never encountered before. It caused the sword to greatly grow in strength. So... so cold. Hold on just a little longer. Fire? Fire! Warmth! Wait! Watch out!
Swift and merciful. Dragon's life force can revive withered plants and empower them to such a degree. Inconceivable. How could a dead tree stem turn out to be such a monster? Paimon almost got swallowed. Anyway, why hasn't anything like that happened before? Most probably it's because the sword fell to the ground. The impact must have caused its power to leak out. It's my fault! Don't make me leave, I beg you! I promise I'll stay put! Uh, Mr. Pallid, there's no need to go into a fetal position. <sighs> this Cryo Regisfine, having originally withered up and died here, is it because it hadn't been able to absorb the ambient corruption? After you purified the corruption, the resulting pure elemental energy not only revived it, but also enhanced it. Your life force will cause it to constantly regenerate itself, together with its fighting spirit. I also haven't encountered any similar incidents. Yet, I must admit that a phenomenon of this rarity, although unexpected, is a valuable discovery. Sucrose! Uh, yes? Keep an eye on that adventurer. Take him back to the camp. Yes, sir. As for the matters at hand, I beg your pardon, Traveler, but I must ask for your further assistance. Such an unexpected mess, and we're the only ones who can clean it up! <sighs> it must be because we keep outdoing ourselves. What shall we do? Thank <laughs> you. 
swear by my sword! Duh. Brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! Whoa. 